up my lumpias? Editing Vanessa here and welcome back to the channel. Finally, it is ready. Enjoy the Cuba vlog. I went with one of my bestest friends, Judith, and I'm so excited because we had a grand time, a girl's trip, well needed. And I'm so glad she wanted to go with me. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy our adventure. <laughs> So as you see, we arrived at the airport and now we are on the bus just waiting to uh, get on uh, to get on the journey to our resort. So we're waiting for everyone. Uh, we get to our resort and they give us some drink. Honestly, I don't even know if it was alcoholic, but it was delicious, whatever it was. It tasted like some sort of like grapefruit uh, orange juice mix. But yeah, here's the lobby. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. We stayed at the Royalton. Um, so cute. Look at and yeah, then we went to use the bathroom. I was, I don't know, so amazed with the bathroom. Uh, but here's Veradero Beach. Gorgeous. Beautiful beach. Blue water. Love it. Um, and then we w obviously went to get a drink. So I got a margarita. Like, look how tall it is. Can't even see Judith's head. Um, I think Judith got a sex on the beach. I think that's what she got. But yeah, um, delicious. Great start to the vacay. And they gave us two straws that way. We could share and taste. But then we started to collect some seashells on the beach, decided to take a walk on there, and gorgeous. Oh, yeah. so, Judith took a video of me going into the water. Ta-da! Honestly, it was, the water was like nice and warm enough. It was a little cold, but nothing crazy. And then we were walking to our restaurant reservation. Well, we didn't make a reservation, actually. We were just like walking. And then we saw this lizard. Like, look at that. Crazy. And then we found a bunch of them. Um, this kind of reminded me of those lizards in the Philippines that stick to the ceiling. Uh, if you don't know that, if you go to the Philippines, you'll see lizards stuck to the ceiling. But, uh, yeah. Very cute. But, yeah, look at that! Look at that! There was, like, two there. I bet there was more inside, but I was too scared to look. But, yeah, we went to a Cuban restaurant, um, on the resort. Each one had a different theme, so we tried the Cuban one because it was the closest to our room. So, um... Wow, I took a really long video of these lizards, but <laughs> but yeah, here's the re here's the restaurant. Very cute. Um, so here are the dishes. So the first one, this was delicious. This was like a deep fried potato fritter thing. Uh, it was delicious. Like and the sauce, it was like a sweet sauce. Then there was like a oh, what kind of soup is this? Like meat and potato. It was delicious too. Um, really, really good. Then it was oh, this is like a pork beef and like potato and I forgot like squash and then the dessert the dessert was okay I wasn't too crazy about it but like look at this view from the resort amazing <laughs> didn't get that reference it's Sailor Moon and we watched the show which was an opera So the second day we explored the resort, saw the spa, but we didn't book anything and it was a Cuban day so we enjoyed a nice lunch. <laughs> Guys, the food was so good and we got the coconut water. My first time trying coconut water out of a coconut, it was okay because it was warm. Uh, Judith told me it's better cold, but it was okay. And then we went to dinner. This was one of the places you had to make a reservation only, no walk-ins, and um, apparently there was lobster, but there wasn't performers, and they asked for a request, and we said Como La Flor by Selena. compared to night one was okay see there's smoked salmon and there's no lobster it's chicken and shrimp and for dessert it was just like a flan and then we watched the show hey everyone just jumping in because this restaurant as you can see we're sitting outside and there were palm trees everywhere um a coconut fell it didn't hit anyone thank god but there was um two ladies that left i guess because they were really expecting lobster so they left and went somewhere else Literally where they were sitting, if they were still there, it would have hit them in the head. Like, it was insane. I was so surprised. Well, I guess it's like natural. Coconuts will fall down. But why would you, like, put a table near the palm tree? Anyway, so if you're ever going anywhere tropical and your table is near a palm tree, watch out. 
for falling coconuts. So after the show, we noticed that there was like an audience standing around and there was just like a dog there. Obviously, there are stray cats and dogs in, you know, um, countries. So we were just surprised to see it on the resort, but so cute. Um, anyways, it was day three now and we were excited because it was our day tour of Havana. So our tour guide was you know, giving us the lowdown of everything. And our first stop was at um, a place that sells the best pina coladas. Just a story quickly. Um, I got sick from pina coladas when I came to Cuba my first time uh, because it was at from the 24 hour bar and it was sitting in the blender. I should have said something, but I was like, oh, whatever. They wouldn't give me like a bad pina colada and I was sick for like the remainder of my time there. So I was a little skeptical, but um, yeah, I was like, well, whatever. For the experience, I will try it. And if our tour guide said it's the best pina coladas ever and she's not even a fan of pina coladas, uh, I trust her. So, yeah, here with some views, she's telling us about different things, um, the history of Cuba. And then we arrived at the uh, little place. And yeah, there were dogs everywhere. So cute. Oh my God. But yeah, they serve the pina coladas in a pineapple. So we try it and it's delicious. And then. Guys, we saw a stray puppy dog. A puppy dog. So cute. Oh, where's the school? Oh, where's the guys so how we found this puppy was someone was carrying it around and then they just put him in that place that we saw him uh there and it was crying so obviously it wants its mom so we're like where did these guys find this freaking puppy so judith picked him up no one was really helpful um but we saw an adult dog and judith brought him there and it turned out to be the mom because uh the puppy started drinking the milk from it from her so that was the mom thank god but uh yeah like, why would they take him away from the, the poor puppy away from the mom? So rude. But anyways, we're glad we brought him back. Went back on the bus and continued on uh, to downtown Havana. Well, I guess it's called Old Havana. That's where we were going. Um, and we went through this tunnel, which actually goes under the water. And uh, yeah, that's how we arrived at the town. Very, very historic. The architecture is gorgeous. Um, I've never been, even though I've been to Cuba, I've only stayed on the resort. So this was very exciting to do with one of like my besties, um, really pretty. The views and the architecture was great. We got off the bus and we walked around to explore Old Havana. And it was funny because um, our tour guide, Navy, was like, um, yeah, so you need to make sure you don't lose us. <laughs> don't lose me. And we lost her at one point. And look at this dog, like these stray dogs are so cute. They just want to be petted, like so adorable. But Obviously, when it comes to animals, sometimes you have to be careful of what to touch. But anyway, um, we explored a bunch of beautiful buildings. And um, but yeah, we ended up finding our tour, <laughs> our tour guide. <laughs> oh, because she has some she is smart and has like a parasol with her. So she was easy to find. But yeah, we went to this one building where honestly, I forgot what it was <laughs> even called. But uh, yeah, the architecture was beautiful and only people with tours were allowed in. So I was glad we got to see that because otherwise you would have to pay to get in. Um, so we got to explore. There was a bunch of museums and stuff around, which was pretty cool. Then we went hop back on the bus to go for lunch. So um, we went to this restaurant that it was like all open, which was kind of cool. Um, it was like a three course dinner, three course dinner, three course lunch. And essentially the first course was like salad and tomatoes and cheese. Then the second course was like chicken and fries. The chicken was okay, but I had a lot of fat in mine. <laughs> Judith finished her whole plate. So I think she got a lot of meat, but yeah, no, it was, it was, uh, it wasn't bad. Like, um, there was flavor, which is good. Like surprisingly this time in Cuba, the food has been pretty solid, but while the one thing that was annoying, though, was there was 
a lot of flies in this restaurant, but there was a band. So we were enjoying. And for dessert, there was chocolate ice cream. So like, how could you hate that? But anyway, we hopped back on the bus again. And then we were going to this smoke and no smoke, like a cigar and rum shop. Uh, that way we can get some c cigars and rum. I didn't buy anything. Neither did Judith, actually. We're not big drinkers or anything. But it was kind of cool to go in that um, cigar shop because the guy that owns that cigar shop has a world record for the three longest hand rolled cigars, um, which you'll see because it's behind like a glass case. That's the guy who rolled the cigars. But yeah, it was really crowded in there. It was insane. But yeah, here is the world record. Like, look at that. It's all the way and it's like looped around multiple times. It's insane. But yeah, that was pretty cool to see and that way it got us out of the bus too. Um, so yeah, like again, it was just really cool to see, get to know the history and the to see New Havana, quote unquote New Havana, it was basically a bus tour. So here's the capital. Very, very pretty. Very picturesque. Like you wouldn't think Cuba would have, I don't know, like it looks really new. Like I wouldn't think it looked be something older, but like it's gorgeous. Like it is really, really nice. One of the prettiest things I saw uh, on that trip, like I was really shocked with that one. But yeah, um, we mostly drove around. We didn't stop very much, which was nice because it was really, really hot that day. So yeah, but like it, it was a really good mix of like old and new, but the architecture of these buildings, like it, they're gorgeous. So if you ever go to Cuba, I definitely recommend to do a Havana tour. You can either do the bus tour like we did, or you can rent those like fancy cars and uh, end up uh, getting a tour that way. That way it's more private. And we saw like lots of art installations like of like Escobar and I think that's his cousin or brother, something like that. But those were really cool to see because if you're next to the building, you wouldn't be able to really see it. So that was a cool view. But then we had some free time to walk around um, and explore this part of town because we were kind of back on Old Havana. And yeah, then we got back and we couldn't go to a restaurant for dinner because it was all full. So we just got pasta from the buffet. But look at the towels, like such talent, like from our maid. And then there was like a little rock concert. So we watched that show. Now we are on to day four and it is a beach day. So we made a friend the night before. So she got us some chairs and we went for dinner together. We tried the Mexican restaurant. So... Um, we tried that food and it was pretty good, like some flavors. Um, but again, I think the Cuban restaurant from the first night was the best so far. But this dessert though, this like rum cake thing was amazing. And then there was like an aer aerobics, wait, what are they called? Synchronized swimming kind of show. So here we go. After a relaxing day four at the beach, day five, we explored downtown Baradero. So we went to the flea markets and did some shopping. We passed by this famous restaurant, The Beatles, but they weren't open yet. And we ended up uh, going somewhere else. But of course, we did some shopping. Uh, surprisingly, I didn't buy anything. Like, aren't you guys proud of me? Judas did buy some stuff, though, but it's fine. But we tried this uh, restaurant. It was a fondue place, but they had lobster and we've been craving lobster. And guys, look at that. And it the lobster was the same price as this chicken, which was insane. So anyway, this lobster, guys, melted in your mouth. It was delicious. And Judith wanted to also get some Cuban coffee. So we went to this cafe and uh, look at this wall installation. So cool. So anyway, they like weigh it, um, that kind of thing. And it's so funny because when you go to the store, look at the art installation again. So cool. Um, but it is, they accept, they like American dollars, not really Canadian. I don't know why. So if you go to Cuba, don't even bother switching your money to the Cuban peso. <laughs> Just keep Canadian, or if anything, the Americans better. But yeah, we took the bus back, but we had the nice window in our hair, which was so nice. And then for dinner, we tried the Italian restaurant. And guys, this antipasti was the best thing ever. Like I went back five times. It was so flavorful, so good. And our pasta was really good as well. So we really enjoyed that. Then we um, watched the show as well so i think it was like some more singing <laughs> it's always entertaining something to watch in the evening we're on to day six which is the oh my god catamaran tour 
And uh, we are just walking to the boat, so we were really excited to go. We're hearing matching cover-ups, and our boat captain was awesome. He asked what's the most important thing, and they said the bar, which we agreed. But yeah, we went on the nets. It was so uncomfortable. I was rolling on it, and people were laughing at me because I didn't want to walk on it. I was scared of my foot going through. But yes, we lied on the net, which was amazing. With the wind in our hair and everything, it was actually very relaxing. But eventually, we just uh, went back under the boat. Um, and then we had the opportunity to go snorkeling. Judith went for, like, literally a little bit. And she caught a video of me snorkeling. I have a fear of open water. So I was like, I'm going to go in, I'm going to go in. And as soon as I put my face in the water right here, I was like, yeah, I'm out of there. So, yeah, then we partied a bit. Partying, I mean dancing. Then we got to Cayo Blanco, I think it's called. And we had our seafood buffet there that include like lobster and all these things. And there were these animals. This looked like a freaking big ass rat. Like, look at that. But they were friendly, but it says do not feed them. And there were children feeding them. But yeah, that was the food. The food was pretty good. Not too bad, but um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. And there were iguanas. And look, see, the children were feeding the animals. I'm like, I won't be surprised if you get bit. Like, where are the parents? Where are the parents? You're not supposed to be feeding the animals. Ugh, but anyway, that was pretty cool to see the big ass iguanas and that rat thing. I forgot what it was called, but yeah. So, and then you got to relax on the beach. But honestly, we just stayed under the, where we ate and we were there for like an hour and then we loaded back on to the boat. But yeah, here's the beach. Honestly, the beach by our hotel was much more blue and nicer. So we enjoyed that. And we just enjoyed the ride back. And look at all the dolphins. We saw dolphins. I finally got a shot of them. But we saw dolphins beside our catamaran, which was really, really nice to see. And yeah, we just partied all the way back. And then we enjoyed the pool. So Judith got the shot of me under our waterfall thing that we have at the resort. And there was this magic show um, that we watched. It was okay. Um, some of the tricks was pretty cool. Like, this is just a shot of it, but it was better. But anyway, that, so that was day six. And day seven, we enjoyed the pool. And we actually made some friends, a bunch of them from the UK. And also um, a couple from Canada. So we... Uh, we planned to go out because it was our last day. So we enjoyed the beach restaurant and that's where they had the lobster. So we had ceviche soup and a couple, or I think either got married or something because it was so cute behind us, but we had <coughs> the lobster, which was pretty good and some ice cream and enjoyed the beautiful sunset, which was stunning. And then we went to the club with our new friends. Literally, we took over the club. There was no one in that club. So the bartender <laughs> made us go on the bar, which was awesome. But yeah, um, I'm enjoying a late night uh, grilled cheese sandwich because that was the only thing open on the resort and Judas passed out. But I was enjoying 
the sandwich because I was starving and we had to leave in the morning for our flight and we caught that flight and guys I was sick the next morning um thank god uh I didn't get sick on the bus but right when I got off there was a planter and I threw up in that planter and a nice couple gave me gravel so I survived but here is Hachi's reaction when he sees me it's mama Oh boy! It's Mama! And that concludes the Cuba vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it was a really fun week in Cuba, as you saw. We had a grand time, and it was so nice that we made friends at the end. So that way, they gave us a really nice send off, which was so nice. And uh, yeah, we really enjoyed ourselves, and honestly, it was well needed and everything. And Honestly, if you're going to Cuba, the Royalton, that's where we stayed, the food was amazing. Because um, I've been to Cuba before and the food's like always like, eh, okay. But the Royalton, I was thoroughly impressed. Obviously, it's not like the most amazing food we've had. But if you set low expectations and then go to the Royalton, it's like, oh, this is, pr this is pretty good. So highly, highly recommend going there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um yeah, if you guys have any questions about Cuba, comment them down below and I will answer them as best as I can. But I hope you guys enjoyed the Cuba vlog and uh, if you haven't yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below as I post every single Friday and as well as the like button if you enjoyed the vlog. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Bye!